Welcome to the CareStream NDT YouTube video channel. Hi, I'm Steve Mango, Technical Manager for CareStream NDT. I'd like to show you a couple of simple software tools today, one for making line profile measurements in your image and another for making angle measurements. These are a couple of more simple tools but uh, very valuable for the user and that is um, doing a line profile and an angle measurement. We'll start with the line profile. And the line profile is up here in the toolbar. It looks like a uh, it looks like a graph because that's what it does produce. It says line profile. Click on that, and now I'm going to draw uh, a line by clicking at two points in the image. Here, let's say here and here. I could do any two points. And all along that line, it will plot the uh, the pixel intensity. Or if I'm calibrated for thickness, it'll plot the thickness or whatever I'm calibrated for. Uh, so in this case, I see a radial distance in inches because I'm calibrated for length and on the y-axis I just have a pixel intensity. So along that line that I drew, which is right there, okay, starting at the origin, which is right here, I'm looking at the average pixel intensity along that, that line profile. And I can go into the graphing tools and make this plot bigger, bolder, different colors. I could annotate it, put titles on it. I could even get this, uh, could even get that plot and cut and paste it as a, as a, as a permanent annotation in my image. Uh, and this line profile, as you can see, let me zoom way in on this. You see that it has a solid line and then a shaded line. The shaded line is actually the width of that line profile. So I can specify how many pixels wide I want to examine uh, when I'm doing that profile. So that's the line profile. The other one that I want to show you is uh, the angle measurement. And I'll come up here again to my toolbar and there's an angle symbol here. It says measure angle. I'll click on that and now all I need to do is click on three points in my image. Uh, for, for example, here, here, and here. And it'll measure that angle and uh, annotate it as such. I'm going to do that again and to show you on the background here, here, and here. Okay? So it measures the angle and annotates it. If I go greater than 180 degrees, then it'll measure the inside of the smaller angle of the 180 degrees. So that's the angle measurement tool.